Hi everyone, good morning, it's Margaret Manning here. Welcome to 60 and Me and welcome to Christmas Day 2017. <laughs> I hope that you're having a wonderful Christmas day. I don't know what you've got planned today, but whatever you're doing, just do it with all your heart and, and enjoy the time alone with family, with your friends or, you know, any combination of those. <laughs> and, you know, I've, I'm starting my day with um, a cup of tea that always reminds me of home, which is England. Of course, I was born in London. And, um, you know, Twining's English breakfast tea. <laughs> I couldn't really have anything but that. Because today is a day for remembering family and those people that you love and care about in your own world and also in the broader, um, you know, world as well. There's so much going on in our world that's, um, that's you know, creating a need for kindness and for peace and uh, for communication between each other. I think it's just so important that we take time, um, you know, at this time of the year particularly, to, to share with each other the things that hold us together. You know, the things that are common, that are our desire for peace on earth and a desire for our families to be happy, our children to be healthy and strong and, um, you know, good parents and, you know, just all those things that make us um, human <laughs> together. So I've got my cup of English breakfast tea and I hope that you have got a cup of tea or coffee and uh, drink it in good health and, and happiness. So today is Christmas Day and I want you to know that you're in my mind and in my thoughts, all of you. Um, we are in 150 countries now all around the world. So this is going to be, you know, watched at all different time zones and, and times of the day. But wherever you are, whatever you're doing, make this day special. Now, I wanted to, um, to first of all, say hi to the people that are by themselves, <laughs> to women that are alone today. Um, you know, you're not alone at all. We're here and, uh, you know, you've got friends that you can chat with online. And also, even if you're completely by yourself and you've chosen to be that way, this is a time for you to, um, you know, think ahead to the future, be, be present in the moment too as to the things that you're happy and grateful for, and just try your best to let whatever it is that's holding you back, that's making you feel sad today, perhaps, or a little depressed, to try to lift it up a little bit. I know it's hard. Even as I'm saying these words, I can feel, I can feel you there. People who have, are spending Christmas alone for the first time, uh, women perhaps who've been divorced uh, and are by themselves, uh, people who want women who are away from their families and their children because they're, they just live in other countries or just can't be like, physically close to one another. People who have, um, you know, for whatever reason are dealing with a health problem, a financial issue, a personality or relationship concern, you know, whatever's going on, just my heart really goes out to you because I know it's all amplified on Christmas Day. It's and not just Christmas Day itself, but this whole period, the holiday period is just it just becomes more intense and, and um, you know, emotional. So be strong. You've been there before. You've done you've got through this. You're going to be OK. And um, you were by your side. And I would love you today, by the way, to, to leave a little note in the in the section below. If you've got um you know a comment that you'd like to leave, uh, people are there for you. You're you're certainly not alone. And then for those people that are busy and rushing around and having a bit a busy time, just breathe, enjoy it. Uh, know that you're going to be just fine, and you're maybe watching this even the day after Christmas because it's just so busy. But wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Thank you very, very much for being here. Thank you for making it such an awesome year. Just a great year for me personally. I've learned so much about all of you and um, it's just been my honor and my privilege to you know, to be along with you on the journey. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, um, I wanted to do something today, though, that's going to be very actionable because um, we have a tendency um, sometimes during the holidays if we've got things on our minds to, you know, sit down and think about them and, um, you know, not do something positive. But I've got a, an idea. Uh, one of our bloggers, Paula Harrer, I really like this article and I wanted to just share it with you today on you know, this special day of the year. Because what she says is that she every year has a, a, a sort of a, a policy of, of, of finding a word that's going to guide her through the new year. 
So, well, it doesn't have to wait till the new year, but it can, but your word is going to be like your mantra. Now, she said that last year it was forward for her because she had to move forward. This was her year for leaving some things behind and, um, you know, just, just getting on with life. And that was her word, forward, to move forward. Now she said she's coming up with a new word because her life is, uh, you know, turned upside down. She's got a, her marriage has ended. Uh, she feels like this is a great analogy, actually. She feels like she's walking on a waterbed. You know that feeling? <laughs> she says, you know, we just lost balance, just feels off balance. So she's decided that she's going to put um, a new word, you know, in her mind so that she can put one foot in front of her and she's and, and make progress and she's the word she has chosen is goal now to have a goal and a goal is kind of an action word like she's going to make a, a goal she's going to, to move forward and achieve something and also she's going to choose a word or choose some purpose in her life that's going to guide her forward so what's your word I think this is so much fun you know it's, it's easy when you're in times of kind of depression or sadness to really start wallowing in you know what's what possibly could I do to improve this situation but um she said what's your word what's the mantra your great mantra going to be for 2018 and of course reminds us that don't wait until 2018 to get started you can do it right now so I thought to myself you know what's what's my word for this year and um I've, I've thought about um a word that would have for me like sort of uh, an action word, like have um, uh, something that was experiential and something that was also um, uh, just a, a, a concept. So experience is my word for this year. I am going to experience life. I'm going to make every moment count, every day count. I'm going to fill my life with um, experience that's fueled by curiosity and, you know, just, just live life fully. That's my goal for this next year. I want to experience life as a verb. And I also want to create experiences uh, with my family, with my friends, with you. I just want to make it um, dynamic and active and positive. So that's my kind of word for this year, is, or 2018, is experience. That's going to be my word. I'm going to make the best of this life. I hope that you are thinking as we're talking of what yours might be as well now. We did actually post this article uh, back oh, for a while ago, now, a couple of weeks ago, and we asked you what your word was going to be, just as I'm asking you now. But uh, we've got so many cool answers that I wanted to just end this little video on, on Christmas Day 2017 with the words that you said were going to be your you know, your, your sort of mission for 2018. And this is what some of you said. And thank you for those who did. And I'm so looking forward to seeing what you put down below in the comment section for this, uh, for this um, uh, uh, year as well. So the, this is what you said. I'm going to choose the word challenge. Another person said, I'm going to choose release. My word is love. Another word is grace. Someone else chose focus. And lots of people said enjoy, <laughs> which I think is a great word. Well, like, kind of like experience, enjoy. I'm going to focus on health, someone said. Another person said that their big word for, the, for next year was abundance. I love that word too. Another person said target. Kindness. Somebody said patience. Everybody's got a different focus, haven't they? And another person said hugia which is, as you may or may not know, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, is the Danish word for comfort, family, um, you know, just sort of being together, being uh, comfortable together, and just sharing values. Hugia. I think that's a great word. And finally, someone said peace. <sighs> Wouldn't that be wonderful? I mean, I'm focusing on peace with every almost every breath. I just um, hold my breath. I'm thinking about this crazy world that we're in. But I hope that um, you find a word that resonates somehow that in those that list for you. And maybe you've got one of your own that you'd like to share with us. So what's your mantra for 2018? What's the word that this Christmas Day you're going to focus on? You're going to try to figure out a way that you're going to manifest it. How are you going to do that? I'm just so looking forward to reading your replies and uh, joining the conversation. And um, just tell me, you know, what word is sticking in your head that you want to focus on for the coming year?
I hope everyone that you have a fabulous day. I really do. I, um, I'm going to be spending time with my son and grandson, and I hope you've got plans with your family or friends or by yourself. Just light a candle, have a great meal, and just be grateful for the precious life that we have. Um, I am going to put on my uh, Santa hat, in keeping with my turquoise theme this year. I've got a turquoise hat. Isn't this cute? All right, there's my Santa hat. I should put it around the side. Okay, there's my Santa hat. So happy Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, however you celebrate. Have a fabulous day. Be strong, be happy, be well, and know that you're in my mind and in my heart. I love you all. Have a fabulous day. And we'll look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon. Take good care, everybody. Bye-bye for now.